Hey everyone, welcome to Weekend Project from the Mom and Pop Quilt Shop. We're shortening a little funky shirt that does a little angle, so uh, stay tuned and I'll show you how I'm doing it. Hey everyone, this shirt had a really odd piece down on the front here. I've already taken it off, but anyways, you could tell it was one of those oddy shaped uh, triangle shirts sort of thing or square shirts. So anyways, they didn't want that part. So I went and got matching thread to the darker, because there was more of that than anything else, even though there is this little light bit at the top. I've got my rolled foot on, and I was just going to roll the hem the other way, and that's it. So let's just set it up here. Make sure we're getting it right. Get it under the foot. Get that little first part right up in the... A little cone because that's what helps feed the fabric okay and then slow and steady did I change it uh, hold on no because I turned the machine back on that's right so one second sorry glad I realized that before I went too far I'm not sure how much of a difference it was gonna make but I'd rather be in the proper rolled foot setting okay just want to make sure it's feeding in properly there we go. And don't stretch it. Just let it feed it in. Do the little roll hem. Okay. And then you'll just do both sides. So what I did is I just literally folded the corner up so it made a triangle because that's where she had it clipped of where she wanted to cut off. I guess it was getting in the way. Um, so that's what I did. I just cut off a nice even triangle from point to point because it was a big rectangle. So To, or I may have to, considering I'm the one here. I may actually just have to roll that one there up and tuck it, but we'll see how it comes to the end. And then I have to do it to the other side because it did start off on the triangle. Alright, so because it is the thicker part, go a little slower. I may have to give a little tug of schmoozy here. I think you can always fold it up on when it's after it's finished. There we go. See, all that needs to do is just come over, probably tack it with a couple of stitches, and Bob's your uncle, as they say. So that went from a rectangle piece to a nice just folded over piece, super easy. So, and then there's the other side. I want to do it the same way. Actually, that one kind of came off at the bottom. Funny angle. There we go. But I'll move beyond that this time around, because considering I'm sewing in the opposite direction. So, so like I said, I'll just fold it over and tack it with a few stitches, because that would be the best choice for it. There we go. And just plug away. The hardest part about this project was matching up the thread. <coughs> but easy, I could take a, I took a chunk of the chunk with me after, after I cut it, so that was easier. But there was like so many to, that were really close, especially when it, I had a transition period 
or, or a piece of fabric. So I was like, mm, what do I go with? But go for the darker because it was the most of. And it still blends in quite well when it transitions in color here. Okay, and because this piece is folded over, not as thick as the bottom though, so you should be able to just tuck and fold like it is. Excellent. Clip. So that went with some weird corners. Not weird. I guess that's just the fashion now. I don't know. And nicely trimmed. There. Just the way she wanted it. She still wanted some tail, but not with all the part on this part, right? Because there was another huge big rectangle all the way over here. Or another piece of rectangle. Just speak English, Lorlin. A big triangle. See? See what I mean? Because that's actually that piece that was sitting over there because the transition up here. So that was super easy. Thanks for sticking with me for this weekend project. A quick little hem. And uh, stay tuned for Long Arm Wednesday. See you next time. Thanks, everybody. Like and share.